I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to do this, but we're going to make this on there. And hopefully we'll have enough gas left. You can tell when an egg is free range, when it's really strong, hard shell. If it flakes and breaks in your hand, then you know it's really brittle. So that means the egg has been laid by a battery hen. just say microwave again but I want to do it in this garlic fried rice and mushroom Good, we'll get this. I might have to put a bit of water into it just to get it going tend to peel mushrooms you know like take the skins off but we don't because that's where the roughage is and as long as you've washed them I don't count calories either I tend to just eat what I fancy and as long as it doesn't have too much sugar in it or fat the wrong kind of fat then I'm okay like I hardly ever eat a pizza or a burger and when it's a burger I make it myself or I try to find a farm shop that sells you burgers that have been made on the premises from the meat that they've got on the meat counter. I won't get a burger from Tesco's or something like that, you know, like these ones in packets that you can get your stick in the microwave. You can't really go to you, even that cheese. You stick it underneath a flame or put it on a pan like that, it's plastic. I think I might have too many mushrooms there. But I'm happy in the knowledge that this food is good food. Wholesome, nutritious and not full of all these pesticides and poisons, plastics, oh, they all begin with P don't they? <laughs> this could be mushroom fried rice, add a bit more garlic, I must stink with <laughs> this stuff. I'll put some more butter in it. I'll put those eggs on. It doesn't really take long for this. It wouldn't have liked the other day. That was because I'd cleaned all around the holes and got them too wet. okay now though. There you go. And you know what? I have found something I can sit on top of that. This. Mm. Pull the kettle up while I'm doing it. I have found it. Really fancy. Mm. 
All right. Mm, tasty. I suppose I could turn them upside down, but then there's always the danger of the yolk splitting, and I don't want that. So I need a lid so that the moisture goes down, goes up, around, and down. That's all right. By the time I've got this out, then that'll be fine. Fried egg and rice. And some.